2018 29er session from Trek. This thing live. Got the 200 mil air spring in the front, 190 in the back, 820 wide handlebars with same brakes. All custom decals done by myself. Uh, we're here at South Mountain in Phoenix, Arizona. We're on 32nd Street, also known as Devastator. It's a nice downhill steep loose trail. And uh, I'll show you how to plow this down the line. Alright, this is the start of the trail. It's uh, very fast and loose. This is pretty much like the, you would call it the motorway. And it's just wide open to that first section down there. And then you get on the binders very hard. section very loose you should not be hitting any, any brakes until you hit about here uh, depending on how fast you're coming in you can brake a little later a little earlier uh, but yeah right here just hammer them down and then you're going to stay to the right after you jump off this right section here every little inside counts even if it's only six inches to a foot you move out to the right stay wide and then you got those nice uh, braking bumps pretty much for the rocks and then you'll hit that turn nice and easy. All right, so let's drop back here. You come in, just cutting the inside a little bit. It's a little chunk here, but it sets you up here. And just maintain the inside line. And set yourself up, you got this uh, flat turn here. It's a little tricky. And uh, there's two rocks on the left side after that. Just kind of aim for those, hop on them, and then maintain down the trail. So we're going to take this inside line up here, a couple little rocks. Uh, the rocks are a lot better traction than dirt. So after that, after you make this turn, no brakes, you'll hold off for your life. you come off this drop here, uh, more towards the right. So that sets you up for this uh, left-hand turn here, and therefore you uh, straighten the trail again. Uh, a lot of guys will kind of come left, and then you'll make a, a right, then a left, and then slower. So make sure you draw the straight lines, stay momentum. All right, so we have this extreme chunky peanut butter section. It's great peanuts out here, no, uh, no creamy at all. So this little drop section, uh, a lot of people think I fuck it. I'm actually going so fast that my speed carries me over everything. And then just plow right through here. You have a nice patch of rock right in the middle of the trail. I take the far left, and then kind of like go over it. Straight line, you get ready for the next flat turn. You carry as much speed as you can because you have that uphill section coming. Straighten your line, uh, and then you have that nice crafty uphill. Just keep your momentum, and fly right up, and you're good to go. Alright, after the drop section up through here, you have a nice flat, tight turn. You have a tree there. You gotta watch out, don't clip it flat turn you can slide off carry all your speed good right here through the middle kind of cut it close to that little rock swing wide 
nice smooth line. We'll carry speed all the way around. Get in your bike. So we have a uh, we have a steep section here again. It's very loose. You have to maintain control because if you go too fast, it's so loose and steep that you can actually go too fast and you won't we you will not be able to slow down to make the next corner. So and it's another flat loose turn, you could blow that very easily. Steep section here. We're gonna come in, set yourself up wide for this turn. We're gonna drop in. You want to set yourself up for the next turn because it's very flat and very loose. There's a little rock right there. I actually hit that to, to help slow myself down so I can make sure I'm ready to rail that turn. And that also will put me more on the outside and then makes that turn less sharp. After you successfully made it to the flat turn, there's a two line choice. I like to go right, it's a little smoother, but it's actually straighter to set you up, set you up for that boulder pile and you just plow right through it. All right, this section here, very tricky. We have a lot of big rocks close to the trail. So when I come through here, you're about this far from the rocks. You have a pretty good in the middle of the trail. Unless you're gonna clip one, it's gonna be a bad day. So this section is pretty fun. You have to get through a nice tight section, very clean, very fast, and you come up to this double. You can go around, it's pretty slow, but it's faster to double more fun. The faster you go, the longer distance you can carry and you can jump further and not land off the ground. And then as soon as you hit the flat section, hammer it out, you're almost to the finish line. To get a good drive for this jump, you want to draw a straight line through the trail. So cut the insides, apex, everything you can. You're going to double this, land on the back side, pump it as best you can, and that'll give you all the speed you need. Go ahead and get through. I'm gonna have a good ride. For the YouTube! Alright, third second, here we go. Cross, yeah, I make
I love to see it another day. Yeah.